In this video, I would like to solve one problem. The problem is a regular octahedron of 40 mm each edge length has an axis parallel to the VP and the sides of the corresponding square base make 45 degree to the VP. It is sectioned by a plane which is perpendicular to the VP and makes an angle of 45 degree with the HP. The section plane is at a distance of 9.28 millimeter from the center of the octahedron. Draw the top view, front view and sectional view of the octahedron. We will try to visualize this problem. So the problem says that it is a regular octahedron. So it's a normal octahedron and one of the axes. So this axis is parallel to the VP. So it is parallel to the VP and the base sides or the, these edges make an angle of 45 degree with the VP. So it is in this situation. The sectional plane is perpendicular to the VP. So in this way and makes an angle of 45 degree with the HP and it is at a distance of 9.28 millimeter from the center. So center is inside center of the octahedron. So it makes a section and we have to make the sectional view. So we will start with the top view and the front view. So this is the first reference line. So this is the center line and so first we will make the top view in the first angle projection system. So each edge is of 40 millimeter in dimension. So this is the top view. So we are looking from the top and so these edges will appear as projected length and these base sides. We can name them A, B, C, D and the two apex, the top and the bottom part. So we, we call them O and P. O and P is at the bottom. So now we will draw the front view. So since the one of the apex is touching the horizontal plane, so we can say that this is point P. So here we will write P dash because this is the front view. Now we will take the dimension of this diagonal from here because this is a regular octahedron. And let's bisect this length.
So we have drawn the top view and the front view. So in the front view, these edges are here as projected length and we should also draw these edges as projected length. So this is the front view. So we can name them and here B and D. So B will be visible and D will be hidden. So now we have to draw the section plane. The section plane is perpendicular to the VP. So therefore in the front view it will come as a straight line which is 45 degree to the reference line because it, it is making 45 degree angle with the HP. This is the 45 degree angle but the distance of this section plane from the center which is here is 9.28 millimeter. So we have to find out 9.28 millimeter. So, so first we should draw a line which is perpendicular to this line. So which is here. We can draw a perpendicular line here. And then we can find out 9.28. So since it is less than 1 millimeter, so we have to be very careful. So this is 9 and just a little bit more than 9. Now we can draw the section plane which will show as a line here making an angle of 45 degree with the reference line and at a distance of 9.28 from the center. Now this is the section plane which makes 45 degree with the HP and it is at a distance of 9.28 from the center. So this section plane cuts this edge here. So we should project all these to the top view and now we can identify the section. So for example, here we are cutting this way. So this edge, it is cutting here, this edge. So this is, so here P is at the bottom. So this is PA. Then here it is cutting at this edge and this edge and this edge. So this, this is cutting here, this one is cutting here and this one is cutting here. So it is inclined this way 45 degree. So now we can number them one, but there are two sections here as well, two cuts here as well. So let's make it three, four, five and six. So two and six needs to be known. But since this is a symmetrical, so we can say that the six, two and six are basically cutting this edge here and this edge here. Yeah, there are two ways. So one we can project to this edge, drop the line to OC here and then draw an arc here this way as well as that way. Or we can say that this is symmetrical structure. So therefore six and two and six will be parallel to this one.
we can get 2 and 6. And we can draw So both way we get the same. So now we have identified the, the cutting points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So now we will draw the sectional view. So since this is a first angle projection system, so we are viewing from this side. So basically we section this, remove this part and we show the section view of this part. So first we will draw the construction lines which are perpendicular to this one. So since this sectional plane and this plane are perpendicular to each other so we can just draw from here. Now we should draw a new reference line x1, y1. So we can draw anywhere. So for example, here. So for this sectional view, this dimension is true length and the perpendicular dimension will be from, taken from the top view. So we can use this reference line from here. So intersection point one, two, So we have brought all the points here and they are in true length here. That means this dimension we have got from here. So since we are projecting from this side, this dimension is true length and the this dimension we have taken from the top view. So this dimension is true length. So now we can connect them. So this is the sectional view. We can see that this sectional view is a regular hexagon. So this is a sectional view. So therefore we should draw the hatching lines. Hatching lines should be all thin line and all inclined preferably at 45 degree and they are parallel to each other. So this is the solution. So we have drawn the top view, we drew the front view and then we drew the sectioning plane 
so this sectioning plane is a line in this front view 45 degree and at a distance of 9.28 millimeter from the center of the octahedron and after that we have drawn this sectional view by taking this dimension as the true length and from the top view taking all the intersection points as the true length because when we do the sectioning this way and we are looking from the top these dimensions are all true lengths so so this is how we have got the sectional view of this section and this is a regular hexagon thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question or comment please do write them down below in the comment section thank you